Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. So Capricorn, let's have a look at your cards for this week. And your card from the mini mindfulness deck is believe. Always be certain your angels are with you. And the angel here has a little stopwatch with her saying time to believe. So just be certain your angels are there. If you just can't see them, just can't feel them, you just need to know and be certain. So moving on to the teacup tarot deck, your overall energy here is the page of coins. Now the page of coins is all about study, about books, about reading, about research and gathering information. Reading it up, finding it out, learning everything that you need to know. The page of coins is a messenger. She's got an envelope on the card here, look. And this message to you is do the research. Look for the information and find out everything that you need to know. Your help or your hurdle, the nine of coins says, make some time this week to rest and relax. It's time to enjoy a little bit of me time. It's enjoying the results of your hard work. Just what the angel's doing, look, she's having a lovely bath and a cup of tea, resting, relaxing in the bubbles, taking that quality time out. She's deserved it. She's worked hard and now she's reaping the rewards of that hard work. The King of Wands comes in next with some guidance and the King, they're all authority figures, the King's in the deck. Now, the King of Wands is very much a business entrepreneurial energy. The King of Wands is someone who is very successful in their particular field because they've learned how to do it. They know what to do to be successful. And just as importantly, they're happy to share this information with other people to show them how to be successful as well. The king is very much the front of house, that showman sort of energy, show, showing confidence and self-belief. So this could be you stepping up into this role, helping other people, or it could be somebody coming in to help you with this confidence, this step-by-step -step plan, helping you with this new information to get you moving forward. How can we help ourselves? The dreamer card says, be ready to take that leap of faith. Get those doors of opportunity, knock on them, open them. Know that you've got everything you need and be ready to step through them. Now, it might mean a bit of a step out of your comfort zone. It might be trying something new. That's okay. Have the confidence to do it. Check everything out first. Get all your information you need. Get your how-to plan and then walking through this door of opportunity can be so much easier. Pulling it all together, Cart 12 Awakening says, look at things from a positive perspective. It also says, be lovely individual you. Everybody else is taken. You don't have to try to be anybody else. Just be you, be positive. Look at things from a different perspective, especially if you've got new information coming in and possibly new ways of doing things. Look at those, consider those, because they can help you move forward. And the lover's card comes in. And the lover's card is about choices and decisions made from the heart. Look at the angel here, look. She's studying everything. We're talking about study here, look. She's looking at all these different roses. She's got loads to choose from. And she's deciding carefully which one she really would like, which one 
she would really love to have, which one makes her feel happy. And she'll make her decision based on the heart and what makes her feel good. This also is the card of positive new partnerships coming in. So it's like a double meaning, choices and decisions and positive partnerships. So let's just summarise and gather the information together. Do the research, do the study and gather all your information. Take time out to rest and relax and treat yourself after some busy hard work and somebody coming in to show you the how-to plan, how to be successful in, in business, in your career, in your next steps forward, or this could be you stepping up to this advisory role. Be ready to step through this new door of opportunity and take a positive perspective, take a different look at things, check your information out. It might mean doing things differently and choose from the heart. Choose what makes you feel good. Choose with thought, consider all your options and then be ready to move forward with careful and balanced decisions. So just clarifying with the Time to Shine deck, this is about the nine of emotion, dreams coming true, high levels of self-confidence. That's just what the King of Wands is bringing here. Your time to shine, jumping for joy, dreams coming true, and a time of celebration is here. The 13 of Wisdom says, time to move on, explore wonderful new chapters, this is the card of new beginnings, new chapters opening up for you, new doors of opportunity opening for you. And the nine of thoughts says, choose with care. We're just talking about that here. Stay focused on positivity, on optimism. Choose your thoughts with care. Make your decisions with love and be ready to open these wonderful new chapters which are waiting right here for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for subscribing. And then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.